Hello YouTube, welcome to my channel. I'm sure you clicked on this video and saying, what is this guy saying? In this video, I'm going to argue that when you have a sports team, you give them a name, a moniker, a mascot, so to speak, you cannot change it. Welcome back, and I'm Dean Rod Vera. I am a law school dean and a sports enthusiast. Not an athlete, just an enthusiast. Now, I am from San Beda, that's my college, and so I am loyal to the team, to the school, especially when they win in the NCAA. But I've noticed that um, there is something odd about their sports teams, and not just San Beda. Forgive me, that's my alma mater. Again, I have to be fair and equitable. Some schools change the names of their sports teams. Now, for Ateneo, they are called the Blue Eagles. For La Salle, or De La Salle, they are called the Green Archers. For San Beda, my school, they are called the Red Lions. But everybody just knows their basketball teams. What about their football teams or soccer? What about their swimming teams? What about their volleyball teams? Well, here's the rub. For De La Salle, I'll put the names of their sports teams. For their football teams, their soccer team, the, f the female soccer team, they call them the DLSU Lady Booters. For their volleyball team, they're called the Lady Spikers. And for the men's volleyball team, they call themselves the Green Spikers. What happened to the servers? My alma mater, they are just as guilty. San Beda calls their football team the Red Booters. And for the volleyball team, they're called the Red Spikers. So there's the green spikers for La Salle and the red spikers for San Beda. What about the other teams? Well, they call the swimming team for San Beda the Red Sea Lions. Uh, good one, San Beda. What's this video about? My video is about fairness and equality. When you pick a sports team, mon uh, mascot or let's say the representative, you have to be consistent, you have to be uniform, and you have to be equitable throughout the sports teams. Example, the U.S., the Duke University, they call themselves the Blue Devils. The University of Arkansas, they call them the Razorbacks, and so forth and so on. Now, under the theory or under the argument of intellectual property law for trademarks, when you pick a sports team, you technically monopolize it and you exclude others from using it. Uh, these trademark rights or this protection affords them merchandise rights, naming rights, and as well as uh, copyright uh, implications when, they are, when their games are televised. Their ident they present an identity as to that sports team. The university or the college, that's the name of their sports team. There is a rule under trademark law that you cannot use generic names because these are absolutely have no protection. Now, if you choose a generic name like Green Spikers or Red Booters, that is generic as to the sport. Of course, Booters is for football. Then again, their general or their more well sports teams, do eagles, that will, they're not, they're animals. The green archers, they just do archery, so forth and so on. You cannot change your sports team for that particular sport. That is not fair, it's not equitable, and sorry to say, that's being selfish. Because when is it gonna stop? What's next? You're gonna call the swimming team the breast strokers? You're gonna call the tennis team the ping pongers? You can't do that. I know what I'm saying is not exactly legal or the law is used, but nevertheless, it's a matter of fairness and being equitable. So guys, please stick to one sports team name. Hi, please do me a favor and smash that like button. It'll help me a lot and it will trigger the YouTube algorithm. Now, if you have not yet, please subscribe to my channel. If you don't, my dog will eat this exam booklet and that student has to repeat his final exam again. 